How much should you really pay a professional landscape designer? Hey everyone, I'm Rama from Creations Landscape Designs and the Earth and Landscapes blog. In this video, I wanted to talk to you about hiring a professional landscape designer in terms of cost and how much you should realistically pay a designer. But before I do that, I make videos about drought tolerant landscapes, California native landscapes, sustainability, sustainable design, and if you'd like to get more of that content in your feed, then hit the red subscribe button. I'm also a residential landscape designer, so if you are a residential homeowner in need of landscape design services, I will have my business website in the description of the video. So, there are three factors that affect the cost of landscape design. Scope of work, size of project, and design time. Now when I meet with a prospective customer, I try to get a sense of what is it that they want to do. Some people want to just kind of add a few plants here and there and kind of refresh the garden. Some people have lived in their house for 30 years and they want to overhaul everything because the kids have fled the nest, it's just not their taste anymore. And then there are some people who just bought a new house, new construction, there is nothing there, and they need to do something. And some homeowners live in really small condos or homes with really small yards, and some have acres of landscape and anything in between. So I use an Excel spreadsheet to determine the cost of design. So let's say for example, we're gonna go with a small yard. It's gonna take me an hour to measure it because I have to physically go out and measure the yard because chances are most homeowners don't have drawings of their landscape. It'll probably take me three hours to come up with a concept design because I have to think about what is it that I need to design for the space? What were the homeowners looking for? What is it that the environment needs and what's my vision for this space? Now I take that concept drawing and I like to color it. So I take each plant symbol and color it based on the flower color of the plant. So the homeowner can look at a colored version of the design and say, oh, okay, so these are the flower colors you're proposing. There's some reds here, some yellows here, some blues here. Then I also like to create a mood board. And in this mood board, which for me is typically an 11 by 17 color drawing, it has pictures of the plants and it has pictures of different elements that I might be proposing like hard surfaces or lighting or some sort of fancy pottery because unfortunately unlike interior design where you can kind of take samples of materials to show the client we can't do that in landscape design then it takes about an hour to meet with the client to go over the design and to go over okay maybe we do aspects of this aspects of this or maybe you like this option better than this option then I have to go back into the computer and I do all my drawings digitally using AutoCAD and I have to take that concept drawing and create a detailed drawing. That detailed drawing will say, okay, in the planting plan, these symbols are X plant, such and such botanical name. There's this many quantities of them in the drawing and this is the size that we want. And I do that for every plant. Or if it's a hardscape drawing, I have to accurately dimension out where the hardscape is so the contractor who's installing it knows how to properly install it. All of this takes time. Then there's also meeting with the contractor and going over the drawings and also coming out regularly to make regular site visits, placing the plant material. So what I tell each of my clients is if it's a really small size project it could cost about a thousand dollars if it's a lot larger it could be closer to five thousand or anywhere in between I personally don't like to give exact figures when I meet with a client because I did that once and I ended up underbidding the project and ended up eating it but I can give a range to the client maybe it's a thousand to two thousand dollars or maybe it's three thousand to four thousand dollars but I'll have to go and accurately calculate. And then, once I've calculated the total cost of the design, I add about five to 10% on top of that to account for having to print out drawings, having to drive to the client's house, mileage, etc. Then that comes up to one lump sum number, 
And that lump sum number is then what I put on the design contract to charge the client. But typically, if you have a small yard, it's anywhere from a thousand to two thousand. And if you have a big yard, like you have an acre or more, it could be anywhere from three to five thousand. And if your yard is medium sized, two to three maybe, it just, you can't accurately give just one number. And that's part of the issue is I've gone to different websites where some people provide different services not related to landscape and it's a certain exact price tag and unfortunately with landscape design that's very difficult to do.